Hi, my name is Steve Crocker. Today I uh, run a small company, Shinkuro Incorporated, and I'm chairman of the board of the directors of uh, ICANN. Um, I've been involved with the Internet Society for virtually its entire life. Uh, years ago, I had the good fortune to be involved with the early days of the ARPANET and uh, played a small role in helping build some of the technology and in building some of the social structures that brought uh, everybody together. So looking back, uh, you know, my proudest achievements start, of course, with my children and uh, I have to have to uh, credit a successful marriage, at least one that's still in, in place. Uh, but from a technical perspective, uh, being involved with the development of the Internet is uh, absolutely uh, one of the most rewarding and uh, pleasing of experiences I've ever had. So the Internet is a very, very big um, operation and with respect to my particular role and particular achievements, um, the results, uh, the things that I was responsible for, started out in a very modest and uh, sort of unintended way. Uh, I was part of a group, small group of graduate students uh, at the, the first four sites of the ARPANET, UCLA, SRI, University of California, Santa Barbara, and University of Utah. And uh, we were handed the task of trying to figure out what to do with this network that was going to be uh, uh, given to us or imposed on us, depending upon your point of view. And so we had to organize from scratch. And it was an interesting technical challenge. Uh, open field, I mean, no, no direction. Um, we knew the basics of what the capability was going to be, but there was no requirement said you have to do this or you have to do that with it. So we had to try to figure out what to do. And uh, that led to two things. It led to a, an approach that uh, has become extremely important of open architecture and of uh, careful layering so that people could build on top of what other people had done. We were extremely conscious that we had uh, no idea about all of the things that needed to be done, but we knew that there would be many interesting things, and so we wanted to, to provide building blocks that other people were going to use as opposed to a complete finished system that had everything. That was one side of it. The other side of it was um, as our ideas started to percolate, uh, we knew we had to write them down, and we also knew that the mere act of writing them down was uh, going to trigger some reaction and possibly even a negative reaction. We were just graduate students. Uh, nobody put us in charge. We had no authority. And uh, uh, it came, it fell to me to organize these, these notes that we had decided that we were going to write and I found myself extremely uh, nervous that, the, as I said, the act of writing these notes might trigger a negative reaction. So I, I hit upon this uh, silly uh, trick of uh, saying, well, we'll just call every one of them, no matter what they are. They might be super formal or they might be completely informal, but we'll just call every one of them a request for comments as a matter of form. And uh, I thought that this was a temporary uh, device that would last a few months until the network was built and we had organized manuals and documentation and so forth. So here we are more than 40 years later, requests for comments are still uh, the lingua franca for the standards process. RFC is in the Oxford English Dictionary. Uh, and in personal terms, my involvement in the network was a distraction from what I thought was a more serious research agenda. And my involvement with the RFCs was a minor administrative chore related to the network. And yet that's the only thing I'll be remembered for. So I'm extremely uh, positive about the future of the internet. Um, I think as good as it has been, there are a number of very positive steps to go. Uh, there are some negatives, uh, security issues and spam and phishing and so forth. Uh, and they're, they're, they're non-trivial. We've, we've got to deal with them and fix them over time. Uh, but on balance, I think that we're going to see f even more payoff uh, from the Internet than we have seen today. Uh, everything will be connected. Uh, and, uh, and there will be, it's fun to make predictions, and so one of the predictions is uh, the internet will, in a way, submerge and stop being so visible, uh, and uh, it'll just be part of everything. So if I had to uh, offer up some advice to future generations, current generations and future generations, I would say um, 
get involved and get involved from the point of view of enabling other people, of, uh, of being of service, as opposed to uh, trying to do something that is ego-driven or uh, all about uh, trying to grab fame or fortune. Uh, the, uh, the thing that was very evident to me when I first got involved was that uh, this was not a one man or, or you know every person for himself sort of thing, that it really was a group effort. Uh, and that's worked out enormously well. It's, uh, it, it's brought uh, enough financial reward, it's brought, brought enough uh, attention, and, um, uh, and, and better than either of those, it's brought quite a bit of personal satisfaction, uh, partly by seeing what I was able to help create, and partly just because it's been a great ride. I mean, it's just, uh, you know, it, 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 it hits on every cylinder, entertainment and sense of satisfaction and, um, you know, personal gratification to have been there. So I would say to anybody who's getting into it, come with that attitude that you want to be helpful to others that uh, genuinely and that you want to uh, help others succeed and very good things will happen.